is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back with some Resident 4 Remake and some Final Fantasy 16 gameplay for you today. And this is something that's been on my mind for a little while. And it's especially hit an all-time high, especially this year. But it's no surprise if you watch my videos that I'm a big Resident Evil fan and I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. And this year, I'm getting spoiled rotten with both of these games. And while these two game franchises have next to nothing in common it seems like they do have some similarities you know, for one thing they've both been around for a long time both of them are redefining what it means to do remakes both of them have two big games come out this year and unfortunately the topic of this video both of them with their latest installments in Resident 4 remake or the original Resident 4 if you want to go for that and Final Fantasy 16 both of them are being questioned as being actual games like that to the series in terms of Resident 4 is not a Resident Evil game and Final Fantasy 16 is not a Final Fantasy game and I'm just going to go through these reasons and why I think they're just absolutely ludicrous and blasphemous in every way possible you can think of so without further ado sit back relax as I try to debunk all these crazy theories of how these games are not the titles they say they are so without further ado let's jump into it We'll start with Resident Evil 4 Remake, and as I say, you go with the original or you can go with the remake. It's been there since dawn of time, but obviously I've heard a lot of people, and not a lot, but a decent amount of people always say that Resident Evil 4 is not a Resident Evil game. Even though it's obviously called Resident Evil, it, it's apparently it's not a Resident Evil game. You know, it's one of the most funnest games ever. You know, my personal favorite game of all time. It's not a Resident Evil game. So... Why do they say this some of the times? Well, they say this for a variety of reasons. All of them, I think, are just completely stupid. But the first reason is, you know, it's not like the original titles on a PS1. Well, trust me, that's going to be a recurring theme for Final Fantasy as we get to that one. But, yeah, it's not 100% like the original PS1 titles. Yes, you're absolutely right. And thank God for that, too, because unlike most people that have that argument... I like to see franchises change and do things different and not just stay the same and be stale until they just run into the ground like a bag of stale chips. I like them to change and do things differently. Yes, are there obvious differences? But look back in time. Was it the right call? Absolutely it was the right call. I mean, if it just did the same thing and it released the same type of Resident Evil like it was on a PS1 era, you think it'd be around today? Absolutely not. It would not be around today the way it is now. It'd probably be just as extinct as the Dino Crisis franchise, unfortunately. So that argument doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, regardless, and I know that we're going to get into the whole camera angle thing. And guys, a little spoiler here. I'm going to get to that video one time eventually this year. And it might be a very controversial video. But I don't want to get too much into the camera angles because it has no true purpose here. But anyway, that'll be another video for another day. But... I get it. Some people like certain angles and whatnot. I understand it. But at the end of the day, things change. And, you know, I like those changes. It's what makes the franchise um, thrive and makes it interesting and makes me enjoy different perspectives of it. I don't want the same thing, so it's just repetitive. But the next thing I hear a lot of, and obviously this is a, a big one, is that, well, you know, it's a start of a downfall of survival horror because there's just there's just too much action. It's it's not Resident Evil. The other games didn't have action. It, you know, it was a lot more you know inventory management and preserving your resources. And listen, yes, I get it, but there's one very big thing you're forgetting. Unlike in those older games, if you haven't already noticed, and as you see in this villa sequence here. There's a lot more space to move around, and there's a lot more enemies on the screen, okay? So, you can't be doing the whole hallway dodging thing all the time, and you you got to have a way to defend yourself and fight off multiple enemies. That's the real big difference here. And not to mention, yes, you're right. It, there's, it, there's not so many of these close quarters calls and stuff like that where you're preserving as much ammo. You, you're going to have to use ammo, but I'll let you in on a little secret. I like using ammunition. I like using my weapons. It's one of the funnest parts of Resident Evil 4. You know, I like the thrill of using weapons. I just don't want to sit there. And I'm not knocking the old games. They're great too for what they were. They're a different type of game. But, you know, yes, it's fine that you prefer. But stop acting like, oh my god, this thing is dramatically not the same thing. It's not the same franchise. Things are different. Yeah, but, you know, we need differences. We don't need the same exact thing over and over and over again. But... But yeah, you know, it's too action-based. It doesn't have enough horror elements. 
Let me ask you a question. Tell me, sit there with straight face and tell me the first time you ever did this, the remake or the original one, you didn't get a little intention. All these good nadus speaking in another language that most people probably aren't familiar with, on top of having a chainsaw maniac, bad lunch come after you. Just hearing a chainsaw should put your the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. On top of that, not only that, you're also having um, the Verdugo, the Navista Doors, and the Regenerator, my personal favorite creature in Resident Evil. You're going to tell me those aren't horror terror moments but you know purposely forget all them and stuff but you know they just don't exist but as i said resident 4 i've always had a perfect line of horror and action and that's a marriage made in heaven right there so you know it's more fun and i enjoy it so i don't see how that makes it not a resident evil game and the last thing i've always heard and this one has always bothered me maybe even more than those other two because it's so petty it's a definition of petty is i've always heard that it's not a Resident Evil game because Umbrella is not the main bad guy. I have never played a Resident Evil game thinking, oh my god, you know, I can't wait to see them fight against Umbrella because we need Umbrella. Like, listen, I love Umbrella. Everyone loves Umbrella. But Umbrella doesn't make these games in terms of, like, you don't have them if they're not a Resident Evil game. Like, they're, they're just organizing their company. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. It's like saying, you know... It's not a Batman movie if he's not fighting the Joker every single movie. That just get repetitive and boring. I like the fact that this game kind of has its own thing. It does its own thing. It doesn't just piggyback off the other game in terms of, oh, let's just have Umbrella do everything. Yes, are you right to say that, hey, you know, Umbrella's downfall is kind of underwhelming? Yes, I 100% agree. But I like the fact it does its own thing. But the funny part is in this remake, they actually give more lore to Umbrella, especially with Luis Serra's backstory and how he was kind of and I brought a scientist and worked and kind of was um, one of the people responsible for the whole Nemesis if you do a really good lore backstory. So I like all that stuff coming full circle. So it's like, hey, they took some of the little criticism. Hey, you know, you want things more tied in. They give you that. And you still try to push the goalpost farther and say, oh, well, you know, it, it, you're right, but it, it didn't do exactly the way we wanted. But it, it's always an excuse. It just seems like you just don't ever want to accept it no matter what it does. It don't matter what it does. Or the other argument I hear is, you know, it doesn't have zombies. It doesn't have zombies, so it can't be a Resident Evil game. I didn't know that Resident Evil game was only about zombies. I mean, last time I checked, especially in the first Resident Evil, you had other things there than zombies. You know, you had, you know, the shark. You had hunters. You had um, the chimeras. You had the um, the big snake. You had the tyrant, you know. I, I don't you know the big plan. I don't I don't see what they got to do with zombies. But you had multiple enemies, not just zombies. And listen, I love zombies too. But it's not like oh my god, we don't have zombies. It's not a not a Resident Evil game. But it's just these reasons alone. It just make me laugh. Like and the funny part is, is that these people have the same problem. It's like they'll say, oh I enjoy, I love the game, but it's it's not a Resident Evil game. Like okay whatever whatever like you know you go think that way and i'll go think the obvious way that anyone with half a brain can think of like yeah it's it's a resident evil game okay you may not like it but it's a resident evil game you know so i don't know what else to tell you just suck it up and get over with it but people just living i don't know what it is but <clears throat> you know and i get it mostly people are either a trying to get attention or b just trying to live in the past trying to preserve the old ones and i get it and i don't want the old ones to go away too i love them i love the og ps1 resident evils they're great they're great for what they were they're a different type of you know era at that time compared to what we got now and then what was in between and i like that resident evil is not afraid to be different but it's those differences that make the franchise last so long and be so excitable but of course unfortunately people can't always accept differences and think oh if it's not 100 percent like the original ones then it can't be called that and the whole thing is ruined which makes zero sense whatsoever but that's this franchise so let's go to the other one final fantasy 16. with final fantasy 16 right around the corner it seems like more people are coming out of the woodwork or come out of the wall just like clive here just basically saying oh it, it's not a final fantasy game and the funny part is is that we've known what type of game final fantasy was going to be maybe not story-wise but in terms of how it's going to be done because the combat's obviously the biggest thing here but we've known how this combat was going to be for the longest time. It's funny how it's been out there for two years. But now, of course, when it's about to come out, now people are coming out of the world saying, oh, it, it's not a Final Fantasy game. So it's kind of like more, it's just more attention-seeking people wanting more attention and their five minutes of fame to show how stupid they sound. But So with the whole combat system, this is the thing that just makes me laugh. So everyone gets all mad and buttered about, oh, it's, it's a Devil May Cry battle system, which... Once again, what's 
What's really the problem with that? Devil May Cry has an excellent combat and battle system. But oh, it's it's not it's not a Final Fantasy system, you know. It, it's it's trying to take inspiration from other things, and which which is funny. I'll get to that in a, later, but I want to finish the combat thing here. But the thing, thing I hear is, oh, it's it's not turn based. It's not turn based. Guys, tell me you've never played a Final Fantasy game before without telling me you've never played a Final Fantasy game before. All right, you want to go um, with this whole it's not turn based? Let's get some actual factual information. So facts here to back up what we're about to say here. So let's go from the beginning. Final Fantasy one to three are turn based battle system. Final Fantasy four through nine is the ATB battle system. Final Fantasy ten goes back to turn based. Final Fantasy 11 and 14, they're MMOs. Final Fantasy 12 is a combination of the ATB battle system with aspects of other things on top of the Gambit system. So it's kind of like a, um, I guess you could say it was kind of experimented and stuff like that, but with AI and how your party members move, because you don't control everybody. They kind of, you set them on their own um, actions and stuff. I, I did enjoy the Gambit system. Um, 13 was the Paradigm system. And 15 was an action game with ATB elements. So, let me ask you a question when people say, oh, it's not turn-based. The last turn-based Final Fantasy game was 10. That came out in 2001. That's like two plus decades ago. So, when you say it's not turn-based, what are you really saying? Like, Final Fantasy has had so many battle systems. And lately, with the latest incarnations, it's kind of been striving more towards an action battle system with some, you know, RPG elements and stuff like that. And I get the DMC, Devil May Cry comparison, but have these people ever played a Final Fantasy game before? I mean, it hasn't been turn-based for so long, and I love turn-based, and I, and I love, you know, the ATB battle system, and I love other things like, you know, the Gambit system, and, you know, the Paradigm system in 13, but... My point being, it's like Final Fantasy has had multiple battle systems. It's not like Final Fantasy 1 through 15 was basically turn-based, and then after like three decades, they decide to go to like this one. That's not how it is. So once again, this shows people, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Another thing that I've heard why it's not a Final Fantasy game, and this continues with the battle system, and, and I found this fun. I found this online on social media and this made me laugh but also made me feel bad for how dumb you can be so someone was complaining this game it's a hack and slash game now you just button mash and you press buttons it's not like the old days and, and I, i'm really saying this how they um said it but basically they were saying that you know this game you you press buttons and a character does stuff it's not like the old days so you press buttons and the character does things so my question to that person is, okay, well, what were we doing beforehand? Were we just sitting there communicating telepathically for the character on screen to do something? Were we using telekinesis or something? Like, how were we controlling the character then? Was it motion controls back then in the early days of Final Fantasy? Like, what were we doing then? No crap, we were pressing buttons. You know, you press a button on a controller to give an input so that the character on the screen could do what you pressed. Like, what are you talking about? Are you guys like the Skip Bayless of arguments where you're basically just making up a bunch of crap that isn't true just so you can get it to be noticed and have everyone watch you because you seem so idiotically stupid? Like, like, what in the hell? Like, what is this? Can you actually give an actual argument? You know, your whole thing at all, oh, this isn't a Final Fantasy game, is just getting more ridiculous and more dumb by the day, by the minute. It seems like. The other thing I've heard why this isn't a Final Fantasy game is the whole thing with like the story that, oh my goodness, the story, it, it's, it's not true Final Fantasy because it, it's taking too much inspiration from other things. Like it's not, like the whole story, if you've played the demo, it has this very like political nature with kingdoms and stuff it's given like a, a game of thrones or witcher vibe which i absolutely love but because it does that because it might take inspiration from stuff like that um it can't be a final fantasy game so let me ask you a logic question by that definition so by by your argument's sake does that mean that everything else all the other final fantasy games that came up before that you consider true final fantasy games does that mean they didn't take inspiration from other things 
I, I got news for you. A little spoiler here. Everything that's ever come out in entertainment history has taken inspiration from something. It's not like they just thought of it out of the blue. I mean, that's how stuff happens, you know. It's just like, like duh, like isn't that common sense? But no, I just always like when people, it's kind of like when um, Resident Evil 7 came out and everyone's like, oh my god, it's first person and he uses a gun. It, it, it's a Call of Duty clone. You know, it, it's a Call of Duty ripoff. And I'm just thinking, well, by that definition, every first person game that uses a gun is a Call of Duty ripoff. I mean, I guess by that definition, um, you really want to be technical. And I don't know which one came out first or another. I guess Resident Evil Survivor is a Call of Duty ripoff by that definition. Like, what does that even mean? It, 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 it comes from people to have no self-awareness. I mean, they're basically the equivalent of a whole idiot. But and then, of course, I remember the other thing with Resident Evil Seven. Oh well, you know, it, it's 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 just a Texas Chainsaw Massacre ripoff. I mean, it's not like the original Resident Evil um, used inspirations from other horror um, movies or something. Like that. Oh wait, it did. Yeah, shocker there, shocker there. But but yeah, because this game, Final Fantasy Sixteen, has some things maybe tied together that resemble that of Game of Thrones or Witcher in terms of the political nature of the kingdoms. God forbid, God forbid it takes inspiration from some, you know, great entertaining books or shows or games. Or, I don't know if they, I guess there's been a few Game of Thrones, I don't know, but regardless, you get what I mean, but it's just, it's mind-boggling how stupid this sounds, but, uh, but let's get to the conclusion here. Let's try to wrap this up and bottom line is, and I just can't think of myself like, why are people, and I don't put it to this way. I, you know, I know some people might think, oh, it's the OG fans. I don't think it's all the OG fans. Yes, do I feel like some OG fans get a little annoyed at certain things? I get it. I understand it. I think a lot of people just are people wanting attention. They want to be dumbasses for the sake of being dumbasses so they can just start crap because, of course, in this age, you can't ever have people try to enjoy things. You just got to have people start a bunch of crap, BS, and it just makes sense because their arguments make no sense. Do I feel like there's a few OG people in there that get mad? And yes, and I get it. I understand it. They like the OG ones, and I understand it. But the thing you got to understand is both these franchises, they are not the same in their initial incarnation. Like, you know, Resident Evil 1 and Final Fantasy 1, their incarnations are not what they have been turned into today. And I'm glad for it because think of it like this. Think about you're, you're playing football, and you run a play. You run, like, halfback set up the middle. And you run up there in the middle and you get about five or six yards. You do it again, you maybe get another five, six yards. But how much you want to bet you keep doing that same play, eventually, you know, the, the other team, they figure it out. And they're like, you know, we're just going to stop that. So it's kind of like with games the same way. Like, you can do the same thing for a little while, but eventually you're going to have to change it up, make it fresh. Because look at it like this. If they didn't change it up, do you think these franchises would still be around today? Heck no, they wouldn't be around today. They, they might possibly, but nowhere in the shape or form they are now. And both of these franchises are thriving and maybe looking better than they ever been in their entire history. And that's amazing considering what their history has been. So, for conclusion, Resident Evil 4, yes, is a Resident Evil game. Final Fantasy 16 is a Final Fantasy game. Enough said. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.